So once again, um, it's a truth universally known that uh, whenever we mention a wire, what comes to mind is the conductor. And what is the conductor? The conductor is actually a material object that allows free flow of electrons or current through them from one point to another, definitely. Uh, for example, <laughs> actually, we could just say the conductor is metal. Any metal is actually a conductor. For instance, my knife right here. So now I'm going to connect this terminal of this LED to the positive terminal of our cell using a knife. Now when I bring, yeah, okay. So I'm going to make the knife make contact with that cell side, and then tap there on the positive. So you see, I'm using the knife to join the cell's positive terminal to the LED's positive terminal, and what do we get? We get a glow. Um, the other thing that is a conductor is a nail. Uh, the nail, it's made out of metal. When I tap it on the positive terminal and uh, make it connect to the positive terminal of the LED, we get a glow. Uh, the other thing that you, uh, is a metal, look at this. This is a hard disk. When I bridge that, positive terminal of the cell to the LED, we get ourselves a nice glow. We say the hard disk. By the way, when we talk of hard, basically these three things that I have shown you right here, the hard disk, uh, the knife, and our nail are actually very hard and stiff. So since we know that these are conductors, but they are stiff, to solve this, what do we do? To solve this, slender wire cores are drawn out like this. Now, when you look at this piece of uh, metal, it is a cylindrical piece of metal, thin and cylindrical. This helps solve the stiffness and hardness issue in that I can bend this like that. But then if you look at this, it's also not very easy to bend it's still not as easy to bend. So what happens here? The second thing is that now to solve that uh, stiffness issue that we have with our drone wire core, what is done is final thinner strands are made as opposed to having a solid cylindrical cylinder length of wire. So this is what happens. Now, if you look at this, vis-a-vis -vis what we have here um, as opposed to having one solid wire core what is happening here is that we have um, many very thin and fine threads of wire right here uh, combining to form one unit at that side that is almost of equal thickness as this other solid wire core now when you look at this, this one is quite easy to bend, very easy to bend, it, it, it even vibrates easily, look at it, very slender and very bendable. So that's how the flexibility issue is actually dealt with, in as much as this one is ductile and can bend like that, it's less free to bend as opposed to having many strands of wire combined together to form a bigger strand of wire. Now, these many are joined to form one piece of wire. Just like that, just like that, and you have that. Now, let me just uh, zoom out. So now, when you look at these many strands of wire bonded together to form one piece of wire, when I connect it to the positive terminal right there of our cell, down to the positive terminal of our LED, we get ourselves a nice glow. So basically, we have solved the stiffness issue while also allowing for flexibility. Um, now I'm actually going to connect this permanently here to our positive terminal. So I have already connected my other uh, terminal permanently onto the battery's positive terminal. 
and this can connect here and cause that bulb to glow. So I'm going to connect one end of this wire onto the positive terminal of the LED. Um, now I want to permanently do, do so. So when I connect this to this right terminal right there, um, you notice that the LED actually does glow constantly. Now, notice one thing. When I make these two wires to touch, the light goes off. Touch, the light goes off. Touch, the light goes off. Now, that is what we would actually call short circuiting. In other words, short circuiting has happened. Short circuiting. Therefore, power is not reaching the bulb. In other words, it has taken a short cut back into the negative terminal of the battery shortcut short circuiting shortcut so um, that is another problem we have to solve so initially we have solved the problem of flexibility uh, moving from a hard stiff piece of metal knife into a wire core bendable and then we made wire strands that each of them are joined to many other to make it a bit bendable quite with ease so the question is how we do we prevent shorting from happening you do not want this happening you do not want this happening we do not want this happening so how do we avoid this um it is quite simple we do so by insulating I bet when I say insulating, I have actually introduced a concept that may seem a bit mysterious, but please do check out our other channel called Little Science. Um, ideally, an insulator is any object or material that does not allow the flow of current. And uh, an example is plastic, for instance, this toothbrush of ours. So if I were to disconnect the positive terminal like that right and i tried joining this positive terminal to the positive terminal of the led by this toothbrush we would have no glow right glow no glow so that makes this an insulator in other words it's a non conductor um, the other example we may also have is, for instance, look at this pen. This is made out of plastic. When I use it to touch this wire and touch the positive terminal of our LED, nothing happens. It is an insulator. Pepper. Pepper in itself is an insulator, does not conduct power even when I do this, make it touch the LED positive terminal and the positive terminal of our battery, that's an insulator. Uh, wood is also an insulator. I just believe me, I do not have wood to demonstrate with, but uh, trust me when I tell you, it is an insulator, making it an insulating material. So all these things that do not conduct uh, electricity or conduct current, are actually insulators in other words they help us in preventing shorting that is to say if I had these two terminals connected to each other like this um, just a moment uh, and just a moment okay now this is tightly held onto the positive terminal of our LED and we have ourselves a nice constant glow now to prevent these two terminals from shorting or these two wires from shorting we put insulation in between in that when this wire comes like that it's separated from the other by the insulating material in our case plastic actually rubber too is most petroleum material are insulators in fact most organic things are insulators they do not allow flow of electricity let me just use this uh, to give you an example of a wire that has been insulated that has been coated with a plastic material that green layer of stuff so let me disconnect this battery and then use this wire that is partly insulated right there and partly not insulated uh, basically when I say insulated I mean it has a coating of material that does not conduct electricity 
put around it to prevent it from leaking power to any other metallic material near it. Um, so I'm going to use these two wires to extend my these bare two pieces of wires that are conducting power. Let me do that and come back. First thing is to disconnect this. Now having disconnected this, the next thing would be to uh, join each of them to our conductor right here, like that. I think I'll do this off camera. Yeah, so uh, having finished joining them, um, if you notice, uh, this wire at this point is insulated and this one is insulated. Uh, but from this point leading to the our uh, source of power which is our cell and from this point also leading to the source of power the negative terminal of it um, it's also not insulated now notice one thing if i make these two layers look at the led touch each other the light goes out the light goes out meaning this area is shorting because the wires are naked in other words they have no clothing on top of it in other words insulating material is not on top of the segment and therefore the segment will short now notice that when i make the part that has insulating material on it touch each other no electricity flows at that segment so there's no shorting at that point actually there's no shorting at that point so that's the purpose of insulation that's how we make sure that when current flows from the positive terminal that's our point of high electrical potential down into the positive terminal of our led into the led lighting causing it to glow back through the negative terminal of the led into our wire this is the insulated segment down into the negative terminal of our power source or the point of low electrical potential so basically this wire is passing in the center of this coating that is on top of it and if you notice at the negative terminal of our led it is bare and exposed in other words to make electrical contact and mean contact in a manner that electricity actually does flow um, it has to be the wire part touching the contact so that's the purpose of insulation and uh, having covered that now let's proceed to the next thing